And when I teach about the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will have deeper understanding, but I know by this also it's enough for you to come to, into that realm of possibility. Because to him that believe they are in the same realm with God, the same class of possibility, all things are possible to him that believe. All right? So in John chapter 11, the Bible says Jesus loved in verse 5, Mary and Martha, and um, irrespective, he told his disciples when the story was told him that Lazarus was nigh unto death, and Jesus told his disciples this sickness is not going to end in death. And uh, for the benefit of thou, the Bible told him in verse 2, it was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her ear, whose brother Lazarus was sick. All right, in verse 4, when Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. Have you seen what I'm talking about? Every circumstance is an opportunity for God to be glorified. Every circumstance in your life right now is an opportunity for God to be glorified. I told you before that God is more than excited, more than ready to work any kind of miracle in your life because he wants the glory. And so never you for a second think that God is interested in allowing the sickness, the disease, the frustration, the poverty, the affliction to remain because he wants to be glorified. And for him to be glorified, those situations must go. And therefore I'm speaking to every wrong situation in your life, sicknesses and diseases, infirmity and affliction of all kinds, frustration of all kinds, any activity of the devil around your life, it's God's opportunity today to be glorified. Therefore I decree and declare as you connect your faith to what you want God to bring to pass in your life, receive it in the name of Jesus, let the hand of God and the power of God go forth now and set you free. Turn your captivity around in the name of Jesus.